when I used to live in Denmark. I lived in Copenhagen, and one of my best friends was Ernie Wilkins. And there was a record store called Steve's Records. And we would hang out there and do things that jazz musicians do during the day, just drink coffee and smoke some things and um, listen to records. <laughs> Steve's Records in Copenhagen, that's what it was. And it was such an amazing hang. So on that note, I'm going to try and do Ernie justice by pulling out some really slick stuff. This is the one with Flintstones on it. And then he has this really kind of, a little too much bongos perhaps on, but somewhere over the rainbow. It's a little over, over bongoed, but it's still so beautiful. And that was, this is the record that I grew up with first. This is my very first Clark Terry record. And when I went to see him, it was like my very first rock concert and I started crying. Professor Jive, he was so not Jive. One of my dear, 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 dear mentors. If it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't be here right now. The very first time I played with him was at the Vanguard and I went down to sit in. I didn't want to sit in because I was really nervous and Clark didn't want me to sit in because he didn't know me. <laughs> and um, so the rest is really seriously history from that point. It was just me sitting in on a Saturday night at the Vanguard when nobody knew me and um, right after I finished playing, he just gave me a big hug. And, and everything that happened after that in my career had a lot to do with him really pushing me forward. And apparently when I would cry as a kid and be all, you know, toddler, needy child, um, that my mom would put Louie on and I'd stop crying and I'd start dancing. So that's probably why she kept buying those records. <laughs> she couldn't afford daycare at that time. Um, yeah, there's, I have a ton of amazing records that I was able to just take for granted as a kid growing up listening to. And now I have them in my house and I crank them. My daughter dances to them. A nice tradition my mom had was at dinner time that we were three girls in the house and each, every third night, I got to pick a record to put on during dinner. And that's, that was our tradition. No radio, no TV, just spinning albums. With my daughter, I'm gonna do this tonight. We're gonna listen to On the Road, Count Basie and Orchestra. Splanky, Wind Machine, Classics. Splanky. Splanky. I mean, what a name, right? And it sounds like that.